We fight for injured people. Live this morning from Churchill Downs, this is Wave News Sunrise at the Downs. Good morning, happy Derby Day, and welcome to Wave News Sunrise. This is a live look at Sunrise at the Downs on Kentucky Derby 148. You can feel all of the excitement out there at Churchill Downs. And there are the horses. I know uh, Brian Schlonsky was earlier saying that they hadn't seen many horses, but figured they would come out eventually. I'm Olivia Russell in the studio this morning with Brian Good. We have Brian Schlonsky, Sean Bowdy, and Tawana Andrew out at the track this morning. I want to start with Tawana out there because she has all the weather. We need to know this for fashion advice. Guys are lucky because jackets go with their outfits. They usually don't go with our dresses. Exactly. And they usually don't, and that's why I'm happy my outfit's a little bit thicker, but I went for the boots and the tight situation um, just to make sure that I was able to stay a little bit warmer this morning. We'll see what happens later on this afternoon, though. So what we're seeing right now, of course, everything's a little bit wet, soggy from the drizzle that we had overnight early this morning, and of course the rain that we saw in some spots yesterday. We're still going to keep the clouds overhead for the majority of the morning, and we're still seeing some of that drizzle across parts of wave country as well. So we'll We'll be keeping an eye on that. Your temperature is mainly into the 50s right now, low 50s. However, North Brennan, you're now down to 49 degrees. That's our coldest spot. We're going to keep those clouds overhead. We're going to try to see those clouds try to thin a little bit as we get into the afternoon. And if that happens, that could trigger some spotty light showers. Remember, everything today is going to be light as it moves through. So we'll see some of the spotty light showers trying to pop up in areas along and east of 65 for portions of the afternoon. Highs today only into the upper 50s and the low 60s. Now for that wind, that is definitely going to be a factor for those hats and fascinators today. We're talking about those wind gusts in the 20 to 25 mile per hour range throughout the entire day. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. And of course, hopefully no flying fascinators out here at Churchill Downs. Brian, good. it's been a pretty active morning on the road so far. How is it looking right now? Yeah, still a bit slick out there. So uh, please take it slow. I know we had a lot of folks that were still kind of completing really their Oaks night Derby Eve plans and we're on the roads in the overnight. We had a few issues then. Now this morning as you venture out, just keep in mind, they're going to be still damp in spots, uh, even though it's not a heavy rain. It's just enough to keep everything pretty at least wet enough to be slick and that's still the case there on 65 northbound very close to Crittenden Drive in the Eastern Parkway area this crash happened about an hour ago uh, they are still waiting for that record to show up here there's the car again faced backwards it's got one light working on it at the moment the, I, I'm not sure if there were injuries but EMS was there uh, but right now that far right hand lane is going to be blocked until they get and again crews in the area 71 right around portions of the Watterson at times also showing uh, some of that wet road scenario and you can see a bit of that shine especially on some of these cameras in some parts of eastern Jefferson County I'll be back with another update in a matter of minutes there Olivia Brian thank you we'll check in with you soon but now we want to get you back out to Churchill Downs where we have Brian Schlonsky and Jody Demling and guys you said earlier that you hadn't seen any horses but just a minute ago on our live video I saw some horses out there they're coming for you <laughs> <laughs> no we didn't say we hadn't seen any horses we hadn't seen any derby horses derby out horses. here we've seen a lot of horses getting some work in here on the track for some of the other races and a couple and of them have been close to us yeah too. they have been very <laughs> close to us we got up close and personal with a few we want to talk about a specific derby horse because we mentioned earlier uh, what a day it was yesterday for Wayne Lucas going from a, a scratch in the derby to a win in the Oaks with that scratch, we now have a new entry, obviously, Rich Strike, and we had to look him up. Yeah, Rich Strike is a horse that was outside of the top 20 in points. As a matter of fact, I think about 10, about two weeks ago, he was like 25th or 26th, so you think there's no chance for that. But his trainer, Eric Reed, continued to train him. He came out here every morning in the derby hours, had his derby saddlecloth on, and lo and behold, he's in the race today. It draws on the outside post position. He will be 99-1. to I'd be shocked if he's not. Wow. Uh, as a matter of fact, Churchill does in their odds that they release they tell you the exact odds and as of right now he's 129 to <laughs> one so he is a long shot he's finished uh third fourth and third i think in his three races this year at, at turfway park uh, but he does have a win over this track last uh, september he won here his only win and it was by 17 and a half lengths so a big one so a big win there and uh, you know look there's 20 horses in the derby field you're gonna have some that that 
don't have a chance, and, and he's definitely one of them. Now, he would be one of the better stories out there. His trainer, Eric Reed, is the trainer that back about, uh, I think about six or seven years ago, lost a bunch of horses in that, that for, uh, the, the fire at his barn in yeah. Lexington, and uh, kind of a devastation, and they worked their way back up to building the, the this stable. This is the first back. time derby run yeah, for him. First time derby run for Eric Reed. So it'd be a really good story. Uh, I just think it's a very long shot. Let's add to it. Uh, uh, this horse is a closer, so yes. maybe he pulls from the back of the yeah. pack, and, makes and, up a lot of ground. Well, and here's the other thing: we always say some closer, some bomb is going to, you know, at right. the odds, We've is going to get in there maybe second or third or fourth. Could this be that guy? I mean, I, you know, you never right. know. Give you something to think about as we go throughout the day here. Sean Bowdy has been roaming around the track. Uh, Sean, where are you now and what are you getting into? Yeah, Brian, so I'm out toward the, in the paddock area where you come in in the front gates, and I just want to mention it's a good thing you come in the back side because there's a few things in the front side that if you came in this area, you may not get past. We're talking about photo opportunities. Yeah, so I wanted to show you a couple of things where I've noticed the last few days where people stop and the lines just start to build up. So you look at the, the Woodford Reserve $1,000 mint julep area. I mean, this is just one of the grass-covered horses. They've got the chandeliers, everything you would stop in here. You just go down the line and there's just a hundred well seemingly a hundred different places where people will stop and take their pictures you you come around here you've got the the brick wall with the horse murals everyone stops here takes their picture you know pose wave everyone do that you, you take another step you walk down this way it's a little not well lit right now everyone will stop here take their picture here with the, the floral wall and you come down here and you can see this is also the time of day everyone's setting everything up too so you've got another one here this is a, a BMW one set up it's a, a wall here. I think this one ultimately will say uh, the future of luxury. So this is the time that everyone is, is setting up as well. So if you go down here, everyone is setting up all their other uh, displays all the way down to the other side of the paddock. This is the time of the day all the uh, workers for the day are setting up. Good morning, everyone. Good luck today. I know it's going to be a long day. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, and this is also the, the gate where everyone will be coming in today. A few things to remember when you are coming in uh, through security this morning. Uh, there is a long list of stuff. You can and cannot bring into the gates here today. Just remember that when you are coming in. Go check out their website. Uh, I know it's not supposed to rain, but if you do plan on bringing an umbrella, you can't. Don't do that. But it's going to be a long walk, so if you do bring an umbrella, bring one of those real cheap ones, you can, I don't know, throw away, ditch at the gate. Just remember that. If you're coming through, just be aware of what you can and cannot bring here at Churchill Downs through here today. For now, reporting live at Churchill Downs, Sean Bowdy, Wave News. Olivia? Uh, Sean, you're scouting out all the good spots for an Instagram selfie. Where are you taking your Instagram picture? Because, I mean, you didn't go to Derby if you didn't have a picture, right? No, I'm going to the track. I'm going to find one right by the track. I'm going to find where the horses are going to be running right behind me. And they're going to be blurry, and I'm going to be right in focus. You have a strategy there, and hey, I respect that, and I might oh, yeah. have to steal it, too. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Have no. fun out there. Derby weekend evolves by the hour, and we're keeping up with everything going on across the city. Last night, the galas were back, and many were for a good cause. Our Wave News crews were all over the city, hitting the red carpet and interviewing celebrities. Tori Gessner takes us on one more lap. We're at 21C, but that wasn't the only gala Wave News covered. The stars shined bright at Barnstable Brown. NBC's This Is Us actor Justin Hartley back for his second derby. Olympian Michael Phelps taking a break from the pool to talk horse racing. I'm a psycho on technical things, so like for me, I, today when the, the, the track started getting wet, I was like, who's good on wet? Jana Jackson hit the red carpet. She didn't stop for interviews. Maybe she's saving her voice for her big concert at Lynn Family Stadium on Derby Night. A musician who did chat with Wave News, South Carolina native Darius Rucker, admitting he has a special place in his heart for the Derby City. I do. I love this city, man. I've been coming here a long time, and I always have a great time here. So, yeah, I do love Louisville. Then there was Silks Grove and Phillies and Stallions. Paris Town's Rock and Derby Eve lived up to its name with a performance from Jake Owen and some classic Kentucky bluegrass. But if you're a fan of Louisville native rapper Jack Harlow, 21C was the place to be. We were told no interviews, but we had a job to do. Hey Jack, what is it like to be back in Louisville? Amazing. Amazing. What is it like, the feeling your album just came out, it's Derby season? I feel complete. 
Awesome. But the job ain't done. And our jobs at Wave News aren't either. Oaks may be over, but Derby is just getting started. We'll see you then. Tori Gessner, Wave News. A lot of fun out there. Well, stick with us for all your Derby coverage. Wave News is your exclusive home for the Kentucky Derby. Right after sunrise, we continue our live coverage from Churchill Downs, including the 148th Rum for the Roses on NBC. Post time for the race is 6.57. Now let's check in with Tawana with another look outside. Oh, yeah, it is chilly out here this morning. The breeze that we're seeing across the region definitely not helping the situation. And that breeze is going to be around for most of the day as temperatures climb into the upper 50s and the low 60s. And this is why I have my hot hands going on today to keep me on the warm side. So have those jackets ready to go. And keep in mind, we're going to be keeping an eye on some drizzle and even some spotty showers for the afternoon. I'll break down any rain chances that we'll have for today after the break. I'm attorney Jim Desmond, and while I may advertise on TV, no one accuses me of peddling nonsense. When handling a motorcycle wreck, trust is important. That's why you deal directly with me from the first phone call to the end of the case. You deserve a second opinion from an experienced attorney. Call or text me today. Summer is here, and with an exciting new Toyota, you can go climbing, paddleboarding, mountain biking, zipliding, camping. How about napping? Of course. Sorry. The all-new 2022 Tundra is designed, engineered, and built in the USA. And it comes in a hybrid that delivers 437 horsepower and 22 MPG. Your summer starts here. Toyota. Let's go places. Discover family fun at Kentucky Kingdom. Soar into spring on world-class roller coasters and slide into summer with a full season pass. Enjoy exclusive events, free soft drinks, and more. Buy now at KentuckyKingdom.com. Now open weekends. No matter what's going on in the world, the grass is still growing, and our customers rely on us for that. So here at Louisville Outdoor Turf Products, we provide equipment to make sure our commercial guys keep up and running because this is what they do to make a living. We really are invested in our customers and making sure that whatever little part in their lives we play, we do it to the best of our ability. So no matter what's going on, if you're still out there mowing grass, we're going to be here to serve you. Finding this time to get your hot shower in, it might be time for a new water heater. Won't be long now before that ice water hits you. Let the crew at Donhauer keep your water running hot with a free water heater inspection. Trying to pick a winner for Derby? We can help. Evergreen Liquors has the largest selection of craft beers, wine, spirits, and all the party supplies you need. You know where to go. Evergreen Liquors, Louisville's go-to liquor store. This is a town called Basic. Where the townspeople are happy with a basic lifestyle. And that's a 2022 Nissan Altima. With more attitude, more style. And a powerful turbocharged engine to help put Basic in your rear view forever. Looks like Basic will never be the same. The 2022 Nissan Altima. Anything but Basic. Get to Nissan today and test drive the 2022 Altima with up to 39 miles per gallon highway. This newscast is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. There's only one. This is Wave News Sunrise. It is Derby morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, 13 minutes after 6 o'clock here on this Saturday. Uh, I would say rise and shine, but uh, we can certainly wake up. We just got to get the shine part to work out because right now clouds got to keep the days a little bit on the uh, the gloomy side here today. But at least we don't have any crazy downpours or severe risk going on today. So that. That's a big plus. We'll take it. All right. But still, as you venture out, take it slow. You see the specks of green. That's where the radar uh, beam itself at Fort Knox is detecting some of the spotty drizzle out there. But it's not always going to pick up every drop that falls from sky because it is such a light mist. But it is enough to keep the roads again on the wet side. We had a crash earlier on 65 northbound. Well, it's still there. And they're still waiting to get some help to get that car out of the way. So that far right lane remains blocked. Heads up that later today, the Waterson uh, ramps to third and Southern Parkway and Taylor Boulevard. 540 will close to allow the traffic uh, from uh, Churchill Downs to get onto the interstate so they can keep the flow from getting back on the roads again there. And 65 northbound, that ramp, you guys know that Crittenden Drive ramp, it's a very short merging point of the ramp. So to prevent crashes as everyone gets on that ramp to leave later today at 550, they'll close the right lane at 65 to make that ramp kind of seamless in its merging. So kind of be mindful of that if you're traveling. And of course, your ride share, Uber and Lyft, that'll be done at Cardinal Stadium, but you got to walk. 
to Churchill. The shuttle service is at the fairgrounds. All right, Tawana Andrew is standing by, I believe, at the backside here for this morning. And how is that? Mm -hmm. uh, how are those uh, hand warmers and toe warmers working out for you so far? So far, the toes are pretty good. The hands are still a little bit cold, just mainly because I have to hold this thing <laughs> for most of the morning. So I'm like putting it down, picking it up. But overall, they're pretty good ideas. So anybody heading out here, especially earlier in the day, hmm, you might want to take that hint right there. Um, overall, though, we are on the chilly side and we're, we are on the cloudy side, and we're going to be watching those areas of drizzle throughout the morning. The radar, of course, not doing the best of jobs at picking up some of those low-level clouds or some of that drizzle, but they are there, and there are certainly some things that you need to watch for for the beginning of the day. The temperature is mainly into the low 50s across the board, but we only have one spot into the upper 40s, and that is North Vernon at 49 degrees. Here's what your day looks like. Drizzle around for the morning. Now, for many of you, it's not just it's not going to be all the drizzle all the time for this morning. You'll get some breaks here and there, like what we're seeing here at Churchill Downs, but it's still something that you want to make sure you factor in to your plans for the morning hours. Now, once we get a little bit further towards midday, that is when we'll be drier for a little while. And if we get some sunshine trying to get through those clouds for the afternoon as we warm up, we could see some spotty showers trying to fire up. Now, this is a little bit more likely in areas along into the east of 65. So that's something we'll watch for pretty closely as the day goes along. But once you get into tonight, we can wave goodbye to those clouds. Temperatures today climbing into the upper 50s and the low 60s. So overall, chilly, yes. But it's not too bad. The wind, though, that's what may make things a little bit iffy as we deal with those wind gusts in the 20 to 25 miles per hour range. Guys with the hats and fascinators today, you definitely want to make sure that those are properly secured because this wind will try to take it away. So we don't want any flying hats or fascinators. And a jacket would not be a bad idea for those of you going to the Janet Jackson concert. Remember, it's outside at Lynn Family Stadium. So where you're right off the river, so you get a little bit more of that breeze, and the wind is going to be northerly, so you get an extra chill when you're out there. Temperature is going to be falling through the 50s for that concert. Now, for tomorrow, that is when the warmth returns. We'll be seeing highs getting into the low to mid-70s for many of us. Plenty of sunshine for your Mother's Day. And look at that nice weather coming up for next week. Hmm, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll be seeing those temperatures coming all the way into the upper 80s at times for next week. Before we see some rain trying to cool us down to end next weekend. But right now, it's all about the chill, the drizzle, and that light wind continuing to go on. You see everybody's getting ready to watch more of those derby horses when they do finally come out. So far, we haven't seen any, but of course, we're going to keep looking. Olivia? Well, Tawana, thank you. I wish we could just delay derby maybe one or two days with that weather, but hey, we'll have fun no matter what. All eyes were on the Phillies yesterday for the 148th running of the Kentucky Oaks. Secret Oath came out on top there. It was a big victory for trainer D. Wayne Lucas. Secret Oath was his only chance for a victory after Ethereal Road scratched from the Derby. It was a calculated race by jockey Luis Saez. Secret Oath stayed off the radar until near the last turn. Then a bold move to the outside as they took the turn. He took a commanding lead coming for home and Nest couldn't break out of traffic till it was too late. Let's take a look back now and see it in action. Off the turn in front, Secret Oath on the outside second. Nest is third in the center of the track. Then comes Desert Dawn. It is Secret Oath and Luis Saez. They have the lead at the eighth pole. Echo Zulu not going with her. Nest is making her run. Desert Dawn is on the outside. But as they come to the wire, it is Secret Oath for the coach, D. Wayne Lucas. She wins the Kentucky Oaks. Trainer D. Wayne Lucas celebrating his big win this weekend. He's 86 years old, still working seven days a week. Here's what he felt stepping into the winner's circle. These are the ones we play for, and uh, it's really gratifying. I'm so happy for the Mitchells. You know, they, they've raised this uh, mare and Kepper, and it, it, it's a great credit to them. Lucas has five Oaks wins that ties him for the most wins out of any trainer. His last win all the way back in 1990, but congratulations to him there.
From the track to up in the stands, Oaks Day was borderline surreal. After a COVID-restricted 2021 and a fanless 2020, the house was packed this year with more than 100,000 fans. In between the cloud bursts and donning ponchos, it was a brilliant afternoon to watch the ponies at Churchill Downs. There were plenty of lilies, both in heads or on their glasses, you know, want to have a drink there, and a big roar from the crowd. Some guests were first-time visitors, others continuing a long tradition, but everyone there seemed to be happy. It's lively. It's just seeing everybody come together, especially we've dealt with so much over the last few years, and the ladies looking as beautiful, the men looking, uh, you know, handsome. It's a great day, great experience. Stick with us as we continue our sunrise at the Downs coverage, including a recap of all the excitement from yesterday's Rum for the Lilies. More Wave News Sunrise is next. What a career that makes a difference. ATA College is here to help you with 10 medical field programs that will have you career ready in as little as 10 months. Get that degree or diploma that makes a difference in your life. ATA College. Learn well, live well. Go to ata.edu now. The Ford Oval of Honor recognizes fellow Americans willing to step forward and serve our country. Growing up, I had so many mentors in my family. There were so many that had served, and I just felt that it was being called upon to continue that tradition, and I wanted to be a military police officer. We were told uh, we're mobilizing for Desert Storm and ended up being Desert Shield. We actually got to assist operations for General Schwarzkopf. That he stopped me in the hallway and set me down. It was one of the conversations I remember for the rest of my life. And I saw things that I've never seen before in my entire life. I sit on the board of Active Heroes. Uh, the mission and purpose there is to, you know, stop veteran suicide, to give veterans an opportunity to know there's a place to go uh, with their families to help heal. And that's part of that post-traumatic stress growth. We have the Veterans Tribute Center at the Kentucky Truck Plant, and it really highlights and recognizes the almost 1,100 members that we have. It honors them for their service, and a lot of the leadership in the plant, they're veterans. They're standing up to the call. After another long winter, spring is finally here. When you choose Mazer, you choose quality service you can depend on. Right now, take advantage of our preseason AC system check for only $39 at Mazer.com. My ex-husband had beat me with his fist and then ended up trying to kill me with a gun. When I filed for divorce, Kentucky law made me pay for his attorney. But then Morgan McGarvey heard my story and got that law changed. I believe people's lives have been saved because of what he has done. A horrible story. Turns out, though, it's helping other people. I know Morgan will fight for what's right in Congress. That's what he's always done. I'm Morgan McGarvey, and I approve this message. Case Foundation Repair and Waterproofing. Since 1944, we were here for you then, we're here for you now, and we'll be tomorrow. Living up to the true meaning of our lifetime warranty. Put a local pro on the case at casefoundations.com. Everyone knows a realtor. It doesn't mean they're the right one. I'm Josh Jarbo, broker owner of Remax Alliance, and I do things differently. Do you know all commissions are negotiable? I bet your agent didn't tell you that. So if you're a buyer or seller, call me, Josh Jarbo. I'm ready to go to work for you. Good morning and happy Derby Day once again. We want to take you back out to Churchill Downs where we have Brian Schlonsky and Jody Demling. And they are telling me who to put my money on today. So, gentlemen, thank you so much already. <laughs> Yeah, we've been trying to get you ready. We've been looking at the odds throughout the morning, which, of course, have already changed since when they first came out with the betting coming in yesterday. We've done a bit about the top five. We hit White Abario, who's just on the outside of that. A Charge It, another yeah. uh, interesting one moving up. It, he, he did. Charge It really moved up to 12 to 1. So there's five horses from Epicenter 5 to 1 and Taba 5 to 1 to 10 to 1, where, or 8 to 1, where Zanin is. There's five under 10 to 1, and then there's five from 11 to 1 to, to 17 to 1. So it's kind of a crazy. Easy jumbled. Right. You're gonna make money. It's, right. it's the bottom line. You're gonna you're gonna make money. But charge it at 12 to 1 took a lot of money, and uh, that's a ho he's a horse that you mentioned the gray earlier. He's a little darker gray. He's kind of a striking gray when he comes around the, the turn here in the mornings. You can tell who it is because he's got a little blaze on him. Um, I, I I do like him. Uh, Todd Pletcher, they love him in the barn. Uh, but but he's taking some money at 12 to 1. Would you put uh, uh, this horse or Mo Donegal as Pletcher's uh, I like Mo top? Don I like Mo Donegal. Okay. I think Mo Donegal is their, their top horse. Mo Donegal is, uh, is 7 to 1. Uh, but, but Charge It is one that I think 
Chargent might end up being the wise guy horse, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> yeah. he is a great, and, and a lot of times the gray horse, you know, we were talking about White Abario, and he's 11 to 1. Uh, those two horses will take up, take some extra money because people will look and say, oh, I'm going to bet the gray horse. And if so. we're staying in the Pletcher Barn, is Pioneer of Medina just way outside chance? Yeah, I think so. I think Pioneer of Medina is a horse that's going to go out there and kind of get after it at the beginning. And I think Pioneer Medina is a horse that they hope, that the Pletcher Barn hopes, kind of softens the other horses sure, a little bit. Right. So <laughs> that they can, that, that Mo and that Mo Donegal and Charger can kind of charge there at the end. Uh, just real quick, uh, Smile Happy uh, is uh, 14 to 1, Cyber Knight 15 to 1, and Crown Pride 17 to 1. So the Japanese horse taking some money uh, also. Everybody else is 22 to 1 or higher. It's an interesting setup. It really is. It's going to be a big day of racing ahead. We want to talk more weather here as we uh, get going throughout the morning. Tawana Andrews has been standing by, keeping us posted. And yeah, a little chill in the air, a little wind, but uh, the wind's helping to dry out the track, so we got some good news with that. Yes, we'll take that. It may make things feel a little bit colder, but we're going to hope that it really helps to dry out the track a little bit more. Um, for those of you, by the way, at Fascinators and Hats, the wind has been trying to take mine away all morning, so just keep that in mind as well. We are seeing temperatures today only getting into the upper 50s and low 60s for your highs and drizzle this morning and a couple of spotty showers at times later on this afternoon, especially for those of you further to the east. For your Sunday, sunshine, highs into the really low 70s for many of us, and then we are going to be talking about upper 80s for the majority of next week. It's looking very warm. Once you get towards the next weekend, that is when those rain chances really start to bump up. So we'll be keeping an eye on everything over the next 10 days, but also, of course, that drizzle and those clouds and the chilly temperatures for this morning. Brian Good, though, I think I'm okay. The hot, the hot hands are doing their job this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. I, I know that chill factor has got to be felt out there with that wind, especially in such a big open area like that on the back side of Churchill Downs. But, so keep that in mind as you head out today, guys. Now, this morning, again, we're not seeing as much of the green specks as we did earlier, so maybe some breaks here. Nice to see that on some of that drizzle. Uh, still got that one issue of that crash on 65 northbound. It's been there a good hour now. Um, they have the officers that's still in the scene. They're trying to get that flatbed truck in here to actually get the car out of the way. This is near Curtin and Drive, so just be mindful of that curve. They got several officers kind of stacked up to hopefully warn everybody, kind of scooch over to the left as you get closer to that curve there. The rest of the area, the road's starting to dry out a bit more in spots. Still some shine in the eastern part of Jefferson County, and that's how the trend will be today. Hopefully, it'll be light enough the wind will help us out and keep it mainly uh, a dry setup for the roads and hopefully even the track uh, later on today. Another live update coming up at the bottom of the hour, Olivia. We'll check in with you soon. Stick with us for all of your Derby coverage. Wave News is your exclusive home for the Kentucky Derby. Right after sunrise, we continue our live coverage from Churchill Downs, including the 148th Rum for the Roses on NBC. We'll be right back. There's never been a better time to sell your car, and Oxmoor Toyota will pay top dollar. We'll buy your car, even if you don't buy from us. We make it safe and simple at Oxmoor Toyota on Shelbyville Road and OxmoorToyota.com. Discover family fun at Louisville's Kentucky Kingdom, where big fun for little ones is as easy as one, two, three. <laughs> Laugh and play your day away with the all-new free pre-K season pass for ages three to five. Register before May 31st, only at KentuckyKingdom.com. No matter what's going on in the world, the grass is still growing, and our customers rely on us for that. So here at Louisville Outdoor Turf Products, we provide the equipment to make sure our commercial guys keep up and running because this is what they do to make a living. We really are invested in our customers and making sure that whatever little part in their lives we play, we do it to the best of our ability. So no matter what's going on, if you're still out there mowing grass, we're going to be here to serve you. I'm attorney Jim Desmond. I'm not going to sing for you. I'm not going to dance. I'm not going to call myself a silly name. I'm going to give you my cell phone because if you've been in a car accident, you need straightforward legal advice from an experienced attorney. Call or text me today. Desmond Law Office is waiting to hear from you. It's Watson's ultimate backyard event. Create your perfect outdoor living space and save thousands of dollars on all spots. We are Hundreds of spas are in stock for immediate delivery. Save up to $3,500 on all Bullfrog spas. We are Plus 12 months special financing. Now through Monday during Watson's Ultimate Backyard Event. We are 
It's time to replace your heating and air system. We know people want options. That's why you'll always get a free second opinion with BJ Heating and Cooling. Plus, for a limited time, get up to $750 off a new Bryant system. Call the experts you can trust at BJ Heating and Cooling. Looking for a career change or a better opportunity? Freedom Senior Services is looking for new caregivers. Benefits include annual bonuses, paid time off, a 401k match, and wages of $15 an hour. Apply today and start soon. Call or visit FreedomSeniorServices.com. There's never been a better time to sell your car, and Oxmoor Toyota will pay top dollar. Eliminate the hassles of advertising and strangers at your door. We make it safe and simple at Oxmoor Toyota on Shelbyville Road and OxmoorToyota.com. Live this morning from Churchill Downs, this is Wave News Sunrise at the Downs. Good morning. Happy Derby Day. Thanks for watching Sunrise at the Downs. There's a live look at Churchill Downs. Her horses getting their warm ups in before the big races happening today. A lot of excitement there. Thanks so much for starting your day with us. I'm Olivia Russell here in the studio this morning with Brian Good, but the rest of our Sunrise team out enjoying the morning at the track. We'll check in with meteorologist Tawana Andrew first because uh, some ladies might not be happy about covering up their outfits today with a jacket. Yeah, it is certainly a possibility. So for those of you who maybe went strapless or sleeveless with your outfits today, a jacket may be a good idea. And also, just keep in mind, don't forget your legs. <laughs> so make sure those are warm today as well. We're going to continue to keep an eye on everything going on. You can see behind me things are certainly a lot more active than where they were earlier this morning. And, of course, it's still on the chilly side as we have the clouds overhead. I'm looking up. I see a lot of these clouds. There are a little bit of some breaks trying to form here and there. But overall, we're talking about a cloudy start to the day. Your temperatures are into the low 50s. And with the breeze going on right now, for many of you, it's feeling like the upper 40s. The clouds look to stick around for most of the day. Now, they may thin out a little bit at times, allowing a little bit of sunshine to get through, and that could impact the forecast for later on this afternoon. So for this morning, we're going to keep an eye on a couple of areas of drizzle here and there. But overall, we are going to be trending drier overall than what we saw yesterday, especially as we get towards the midday time period. And then into the afternoon, if we get some peaks of sunshine through those clouds, that can help to trigger a couple of extra spotty showers. Really light stuff, by the way, though, in areas along an east of 65 highs today going to be into the upper 50s and the low 60s. That wind is going to be a factor throughout the day today. I just went into the bathroom not too long ago and made sure my fascinator was properly secured with bobby pins. That might be the best bet for today as we are watching those wind gusts in the 20 to 25 mile per hour range. So a lot to keep an eye out for everyone heading out here at the track. Brian Good, I know the feeling of how to chase something down when your hat flies away. So hopefully no, no one has Right, we now. Here. Well, well, the good news is your hats will actually help block the wind, though, for someone standing next to you. So uh, you may make a lot of friends today. So kind of keep that in mind, too. There's a plus. Uh, this morning, the radar is on with the traffic map. We don't have any official as far as crashes that are active as far as being treated at the moment. We just have a car left over from a crash. It's still on 65 northbound. Here's that latest camera view. Still there. LMPD is still kind of lined up on that curve near Curtin Drive. We'll let you know as soon as we get that clear, but just be careful because you come around the fairgrounds and unless you're paying attention and seeing the flashing lights, you'll come up on that real fast. Don't forget, too, that the ramps to the Waterson Expressway to uh, 3rd Street, Taylor uh, Boulevard area, and as well as the Southern Parkway will close at 540 to allow the reverse of traffic coming out of Churchill Downs. Same storyline for 65 northbound, the right lane of 65 at Curtin Inn Drive near the same spot where the crash is. That will close to allow the traffic to come flowing off that ramp itself and get everyone out of the Downs. That would be at 550 for this evening. Much more on what else you need to know as you head to the track today on this Derby Day coming up in a few minutes, Olivia. We'll check in with you soon. Thank you, Brian. Now we want to take you back out to the track where we have Brian Schlonsky and Jody Demling. They are right next to that sloppy track right there this morning. How's it looking, guys? <laughs> Well, it's about how you left us. Uh, maybe a, a raindrop or two. Ah, we've, a we've, couple. Yeah, something. So something to uh, track as we move throughout the morning here. Uh, Jody's been watching a full transformation take place before his eyes. I, here, <laughs> That's been, I'm like, what, what, what is going on? I now have a tie on. We got a little little makeup on here. I just ate a breakfast bar. I'm getting ready for 8, 8 a.m. over on the first turn. Yeah. You've got more assignments throughout the day, too, so we'll be busy throughout the yeah, day. Yeah, no, it's a busy day. And I wouldn't have it any other way, would you? No, I mean, of course it's a, not. This is the best day you of the year. You want to be involved. Someone 
anyone who uh, maybe is involved, uh, their presence will be felt, whether he is here or not, Bob Baffert, yeah. and uh, uh, by the secondary accounts, Tim Yachtin. Yeah, and, and the funny thing is, Tim Yachtin, so, you know, we all know the story. Bob Baffert suspended. You have, uh, you know, Tim Yachtin takes over the horses, Taba and Messier, before the Santa Anita Derby. Two funny, pretty tough horses. Two really good horses, two highly re regarded horses. Uh, funny, Wayne Lucas, who uh, uh, it, it won the Oaks we've talked about, said to me last Saturday, he's like, look, they're still Bob's horses. <laughs> but they're in Tim Yachtin's name, and I think everybody assumes that Bob Baffert, still behind the scenes, is probably doing, you know, Something. calling the shots. And even if he's not, Tim Yachtin was an assistant trainer for Bob Baffert. He knows the routine. He knows right. exactly the way to train these horses just like Bob would have done. Um, so, yeah, Tim Yachtin is in an, an interesting position because uh, he goes now, walks over here to the Derby today for the first time with a horse of his own. And it's the second and third choices right. in the Kentucky Derby as of right now. Well, Taba flying up the, the betting ranks. Uh, Messier's been my pick since uh, I started this. I just like the, the speed, the, the running style, the stamina, and I think a lot of people uh, are seeing that as well. Yeah, Canadian Brennan, I, I'm, I'm excited to see this horse, what this horse could do. I, look, I'm not going to compare this horse to Authentic, but... Messier could do what Authentic did if he gets a good break, and that is go out to the front of the lead. And I wouldn't be surprised if John Velasquez can kind of settle him in and, and, for lack of a better way of saying it, steal the race on the front end. And that's exactly what Authentic did in September of 2020. We remember that. And it, this kind of reminds me of that scenario. I think there's a little more pace in this race, but it could happen. All right, final word on the Actine horses. You go in Tabor or Messier? I'm going, I'm going Messier. All day. Okay. I mean, Tabor. Taba's one, like I said, I can't decide what to do with Taba as far as a betting strategy is concerned. Because when you look at the numbers and you look at the speed figures, you're like, it's staring you in the face that this horse is really, really talented. But he's so inexperienced and he's going to face 20 horses for the first time. I just can't go with the Can't horse. pull the trigger. I'm, I'm with you on that one. All right. Uh, Sean Bowdy, uh, he's always roaming around somewhere, getting into some sort of, uh, well, usually trouble, uh, whether it's because of what he's doing or what he's found. Sean, where are you and what are you doing now? No, 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 Brian. No trouble here. Now, we wanted to update you on the uh, condition of the track. We're getting a little closer here now, We're trying not to, uh, to uh, get in too much trouble here, not trying to spook the horses. No, we showed you the condition of the track when we got here, when the show started around 5 o'clock. It, it looks a lot better now, starting to dry up a little bit. The horses have come by, a lot of them, and kind of kicked up the dirt, to dried it up a, a lot. You can still see quite the glare, some glisten from, from the water that's still there. But like Jody said earlier, this, this dirt can hold a lot of water. But if it... The holds like it is now, you know, it was drizzling here just a minute ago, but it's it seems to pretty much have stopped uh, the horses that have come by. You know, it, it's just a reminder that uh, the whore, how strong these horses are that they're able to just come through here and just run like it's like it's nothing. Like John Bowl was talking yesterday on air while I was watching our coverage uh, about how hard it is to walk in this when it is as wet as it is, and how hard it is to actually pick up your feet when you're walking through here. That's almost like walking through wet cement when you're walking through here. And these horses just go through it like it's absolutely nothing, and it's unbelievable to actually see here. So if you are coming to track today, just a couple things uh, to remember. Gates it's open at 9 o'clock. First race is at 10 o'clock here, coming through here today. I want to actually look at one more thing uh, over here on the track. One thing I think is one of the coolest things about the Kentucky Derby, people trying to get the best possible shot, the media that is. Take a look at the cameras that are set up uh, right over here. All the photographers from all the different media outlets trying to get that perfect shot. Look at all the cameras that are set up over here. And this is one thing, too. Like, you look at yesterday, there's photographers trying to get that shot. One little clump of mud could ruin that perfect shot and it's all that wired click of a shot that you're trying to get to so uh olivia russell i know that you were talking about that perfect selfie you're trying to get imagine trying to get that perfect shot of the finish line and that getting ruined because you only get one shot at that a lot of pressure there. I mean, more pressure than an Instagram selfie, I guess you're right there. But, you know, you painted that visual of how difficult it is to just move through that mud right there. I didn't quite get it. I think you need to demonstrate that in a minute, too. Just go out on that mud and show huh. us. I did not bring the shoes for that. Did not bring the shoes for that. Uh, come on. We need better spirit there from you. <laughs> uh, may maybe. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. I'm counting on it. <laughs> thank, thank you, Sean. Okay. Now let's check in with Tawana with the weather.
Yeah, we are seeing, of course, the chilly temperatures across the region. Most of the people who are out here are wearing jackets, trying to keep a little bit on the warmer side. So, yes, we're cool this morning with a little bit of a breeze that's adding an extra chill to the air. We are going to start to warm up a little bit as the day goes along. We're talking about highs today into the upper 50s and the low 60s. So, remember, we're climbing, but not too far, mainly because those clouds will remain overhead. Now, some drizzle is in some spots. We see a couple of spotty showers later on this afternoon. I'll break down those chances after the break. You cannot make a mistake in the world. You buy the car, you drive it for three days. If you love it, you keep it. If you don't love it, you leave it, you bring it back, no questions asked. We want to make it enjoyable. At Honda World, we do it your way. My name is Frankie Lewis. I am the owner of Frankie Lou Fashion House. I'm also a Kentucky Keys Scholar, and Keys Money is cool because it gives students an early opportunity to take action in financing their education. Sometimes when you're an artist like me, it's easy to say, oh, I'm going to be an actress. Oh, I'm going to be a painter. I don't need to get A's and B's. Well, if you want help funding that education, then maybe try a little harder so you can get a really nice scholarship opportunity waiting for you. Finding this time to get your hot shower in, it might be time for a new water heater. Won't be long now before that ice water hits ya. Let the crew at Don Hauer keep your water running hot with a free water heater inspection. Life keeps moving. It doesn't stop, doesn't wait, doesn't slow down. And one day, you look up, and you're not where you thought you'd be. But you can get there with Campbellsville University in Louisville. We're flexible, affordable, and local. And we're ready when you are. The time is now to find your calling at Campbellsville University in Louisville. Do you have what it takes to make the perfect derby party? Don't worry, we do. Cox's Spirit Shop has all your favorite beverages from craft beers, wine, spirits, seltzers, you know where to go. Cox's, Louisville's go-to liquor store. Yo, watch it, dog. This is your idea of a pool party? We need to up our game. Hey, look. Hi, I'm Chris Redman. This beautiful pool was installed by Tracy, Angela, and the great team at Davenport Extreme Pools and Spas. And we can build your pool year-round and can start your backyard oasis in as little as 12 weeks with no hidden cost. Stop dreaming. Start swimming. Go to DavenportExtremePools.com. After an auto collision, the majority of the shops out here are worried about dollars and not safety. Here at Touch of Color Collision, you know, our main goal is to make sure that when we put you back in that vehicle, we feel safe enough that we put our own family back in that vehicle. Another happy Derby Day to you. We want to get to back out to Churchill Downs. I know everyone's looking to the track right now. Brian Schlonsky out there with Jody Demling. And guys, you said you're picking Messier. I guess that means I'm going with Messier too, right? All right, jump on the train. Why not? Uh, she said she's jumping on the Messier train with us, which, I don't, I don't which means we're just going to drive down the back in the money. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It gets heavy on the train. Yeah. Though. Look, all right, so we've been out here uh, along the rail since the beginning. Uh, we've seen a lot of activity, a lot of horses, but not a lot of derby horses. Right. So let's talk a bit about, about the track. If, if folks are coming out, it's been a, a two year hiatus for at least the regulars. It's been, you know, some people don't come every 10 years or so. Right. There's a lot of things that are a lot it's different a little, than just you may a remember. Little different. And more changes on the way. Yeah, the more changes on the way are going to be fantastic. The first turn uh, is uh, just over our shoulders here now. They have that, uh, they, they put that structure up every year, and I always laugh because it's like, it takes them a month to put it up, and then right. it takes them a month to take it down, and then there's nothing else. So you say, why take so, it down? Yeah. And now they say, we won't. We won't. They're going to put a new structure. They're going to put. They're going to basically blow up the whole first turn and redo that entire thing. They're going to redo the paddock. Um, you know, you were talking about the infield doesn't look like the, in the infield's not like the infield was, oh, when, I no. was in that, when I was in college. I mean, there there are there are stationary bathrooms now. There are areas to get drinks. There's uh, it doesn't look the same. Yeah. I, you know, and and uh, a lot of the improvements are for the better, but it's a different experience if you were expecting the infield of old right. this year it's it's going to be different it totally is and on the on the flip side of things if you're on the opposite side first of all you can't go from the infield 
over to the clubhouse anymore like you used to be able to do. So it did cut down yesterday, I thought, on, I mean, there was over 100,000 people here, and it didn't feel crowded in the paddock because you didn't have everybody right. being able to come over from there. All-inclusive, uh, you know, drinks and food over there helps the lines, I think. And to me, the biggest thing that they've done is that home stretch club that's new this year. Uh, it's right down there the in, on, on the 100 level, and it's unbelievable. I think there's a lot of people when they see those uh, horseshoe uh, lounge, whatever they're right. called. I mean, it's, Darren Rogers said it's like floor seats and a private club with bottle service. I mean, what, what more? What would you add to that? Well, there's I don't know if there's a betting windows in there <laughs> okay. yet. So if they can do that, although right. you got your phone, you can do that on your phone. But you always you know, think of something to add. Always think of something to add. All it. right. Well, the last couple of days of racing have been spectacular. At Thurby, the weather was great. Uh, we were, had the third biggest crowd so far. Oaks, we hit over a hundred thousand. So as we go now to Tawana Andrew, hoping the weather is going to hold out for us today, which means we'll probably have a big turnout for Derby as well. Overall, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, it's a little bit chilly, but hey, that's not that bad. We can fight through that, right? Plus, if, you know, you've had that bottle service, you're not really caring about it at all. So here's what we're going to be seeing, of course, across the region for today. The clouds overhead. I'm looking up right now, and I'm just seeing clouds locked in across our region. Yeah, the sun is supposed to be up <laughs> in just a bit and we're not going to see a whole lot of it. It looks like as the day goes along. Your temperatures right now mainly into the low 50s. So overall things are certainly on the cool side. We'll keep temperatures on the cool side throughout the majority of the morning as we watch for some areas of drizzle here and there. We haven't seen some drizzle here at Churchill Downs in a while and that's <laughs> some good news to really pass along. But once we get into the afternoon, we can see a couple of some spotty showers trying to pop up in areas along and east of 65. Mainly, if we get a little bit of that sunshine trying to get through the clouds, that's where that's going to be more likely. And then once we get into tonight, the clouds gradually start to move out. So temperature rise, let's break down what we're going to be seeing for today. Going from those upper 40s and low 50s, climbing into the upper 50s and low 60s for later on this afternoon. The wind, that is still going to be a factor all day long. So keep that in mind for your outfits as well. With those wind gusts in the 20 to 25 mile per hour range as the day goes along, that can really keep things on the chilly side for many of you if you're a little bit more sensitive to those temperatures. And also, of course, fascinators, hats, could easily blow away if they're not properly secured. So make sure you have those bobby pins ready to go. Still on the chilly side for the Janet Jackson concert later on tonight. For those of you going to Lynn Family Stadium, keep in mind with this northerly wind, what tends to happen in Lynn Family Stadium is just to get that wind coming right off the river, which makes it feel even colder. So have that jacket ready to go. And at least maybe some hand warmers for those of you who are going to be standing or sitting. Just something to keep in mind overall. For tomorrow, it's all about the sunshine back into the forecast. Highs climbing into the upper 60s and the low 70s. So for your Mother's Day, it's looking gorgeous. And checking out the rest of the 10-day, here's what we have going on. More of those upper 80s coming our way. So really starting to warm up into next week, kind of getting that summer-like feel back into the forecast. And while a good chunk of next week does look to be mainly dry, we do see some rain chances really start to pump up as we get towards the following weekend. Brian? All right. Thanks, Tony. We're about uh, 12 hours away from the run for the roses, guys. So the, uh, the clock is a ticking there. So we'll keep an eye on the weather side of things. On the traffic side, obviously the weather has impacted the roads this morning, keeping them a bit wet and damp there with some of that drizzle that's been pretty steady at times during the overnight. It has eased back so far this morning. That has allowed the roads to dry up. But when it was coming down, it could cause a problem or two, including this car that spun out of control on 65 northbound, very close to Crittenden Drive. Uh, LMPD is still waiting to get some help there to get that car out of the way so the right lane remains blocked. If you're using any ride share service today, uh, Uber, or Lyft, or even using a taxi, keep in mind it's, you, the drop off and pick up point is at Cardinal Stadium. You can't go to Churchill Downs, but you have to walk from there to Churchill. Uh, so kind of keep that in mind. And for the fairgrounds, that's where they have the shuttle service. So I recommend that, although those lines can get long. Uh, so make sure to plan ahead if you're heading out to the track itself throughout much of the day today. The cameras right now look good over much of the metro. Again, the road's trying to dry out a bit with that wind outside. Hopefully that will hold true for much of the day. But it only takes one batch of very light rain and drizzle to kind of make things slick again. So keep that in mind. And here's a live look at a very shaky camera. But that is, of course, the Janet Jackson stage that is set up there at Lynn Family Stadiums. They're getting ready for the concert for tonight. All right, stay with us. we got more Sunrise. At the Downs on this Derby morning, coming up next here on Wave News. After another long winter, spring is finally here.
When you choose Mazer, you choose quality service you can depend on. Right now, take advantage of our preseason AC system check for only $39 at Mazer.com. Summer is here, and with an exciting new Toyota, you can take a trip to the beach, the city, the mountains, the desert, Ooh, the bayou. I think I'm sinking. Definitely sinking. Save big on a Corolla Cross, the first ever Corolla SUV. Or save $5,500 in fuel costs on the electrified Corolla Hybrid. And get 1.75 APR financing. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. I'm attorney Jim Desmond, and I know you are hammered with lawyer ads every day. That's why I want to cut through the nonsense. If you've been injured in a wreck with a car or a semi, call my cell phone for immediate help. I'll fight for the largest settlement possible and maximize your recovery. Call or text me today. My ex-husband had beat me with his fist and then ended up trying to kill me with a gun. When I filed for divorce, Kentucky law made me pay for his attorney. But then Morgan McGarvey heard my story and got that law changed. I believe people's lives have been saved because of what he has done. A horrible story. Turns out, though, it's helping other people. I know Morgan will fight for what's right in Congress. That's what he's always done. I'm Morgan McGarvey, and I approve this message. Injured in an accident? Don't waste time in traffic or a waiting room. Chiropractor to you at the location of your choice. When you've been injured in an accident... Remember, I'm Dr. Todd Black, and I've got your back. Contact Chiropractor to you for a complimentary consultation. Wellstone Regional Hospital has been a trusted provider for mental health services in Kentuckiana since 2003, offering acute inpatient treatment, partial hospitalization, and intensive outpatient services for children, adolescents, adults, and seniors with anxiety, depression, or substance abuse disorders. The behavioral health care system can often be overwhelming to navigate. Let our team of highly qualified professionals assist you and finding the right treatment to meet your behavioral health care needs. After another long winter, spring is finally here. When you choose Mazer, you choose quality service you can depend on. Right now, take advantage of our preseason AC system check for only $39 at Mazer.com. There were plenty of stars out last night at several of Louisville's Derby Eve galas. At the Barn Stable Brown Party, we caught up with This Is Us actor Justin Hartley. It has to be one of my favorite shows. Good to see him here. He's been to the Kentucky Derby in recent years and explained why he keeps coming back. It's one of those things where you kind of have to, you, all, you almost have to experience it. It's almost not even worth trying to explain it to somebody because it's such a spectacle and it's so great and it's so grand and it's so big and it's so special. And, all ha and, it, and you go, well, it's a two-minute race. But you almost have to experience it to understand that it's the energy. Yeah. With the ener we were there today, and the energy is. is something that you can't quite explain, or at least I can. It's wonderful, and I tell everyone you should go. If you've never gone, you should go. Figure out a way to go yeah. at least once. He says you can't explain it, but I think he nailed it right there with that simple explanation. I have to agree with him. Also at the Barnstable Brown Party, Janet Jackson walked the red carpet. Tonight she's performing at Lynn Family Stadium, which will be the first concert ever at the Sarker Stadium. It's also the first concert for Janet Jackson in three years since before the pandemic. The six original members of New Edition will also perform there tonight. The concert starts at 7 p.m. and tickets are still available. I keep saying if you need another Mother's Day present, mom's going to love it. Another celebrity sighting over at 21C last night. Rapper and Louisville native Jack Harlow was at Steve Wilson's Derby Eve party. Profits from that event will benefit the Western Kentucky Tornado Relief Funds. Lots of people were excited to see Harlow. And we know he'll be at Churchill Downs today. He's been granted that special honor of commanding the Kentucky Derby jockeys to mount their horses as this year's announcer for Riders Up. We'll be right back with more Wave News Sunrise at the Downs next. I was in a motorcycle accident, pretty significant one. We want our clients to have the best experience possible out of a normally horrible situation. He always let me know what was going on, and he got results quick. If you've been injured in an accident, get the tiger on your side. You cannot make a mistake in the world. You buy the car, you drive it for three days. If you love it, you keep it. If you don't love it, you leave it, you bring it back, no questions asked. We want to make it enjoyable. At Honda World, we do it your way. Wave Sunrise at the Downs is sponsored by Mitch Craig Heating and Cooling. After the last two years, we need to open the door to strong leaders. A leader like Republican Bill Furco. 
A farm owner and successful businessman, Bill will take his experience to Frankfurt and carve a path to prosperity. As state senator, Bill Furco will fight mandates that threaten freedoms and economic stability. He's a conservative family man, ready to defend our way of life, protect our tax dollars, and set a course for economic recovery. In the Republican primary for state senate, vote Bill Furco. It's gotta be R and B.com. Trying to pick a winner for Derby? We can help. Evergreen Liquors has the largest selection of craft beers, wines, spirits, and all the party supplies you need. You know where to go. Evergreen Liquors, Louisville's go-to liquor store. This may sound strange, but you've been here before. You were here when this wrench was turned, and when this line was drawn, oh, and when this stitch was sewn. Because you inspired the Lexus ES to be, well, more you. So thank you. We hope you like your work. To the four-legged friend that walked through life with you, thank you for being there. We'll remember you. Proudly preserving your pet's legacy. Visit BoardandPetCremation.com. We're here and we care. The most trusted in tracking storms. Download the Wave Weather app. You have to fight for your clients if you're going to be known as the tiger. They are a fierce team who really genuinely care for me. If you've been injured in an accident, get the tiger on your side. You're watching Sunrise at the Downs. We want to take you out to Churchill Downs where Brian Schlonsky is there with Jody Demling giving us a rundown of what we should expect, maybe giving us some pointers if you are, like me, not very good at this stuff. <laughs> Guys, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Olivia. We've had a few pointers throughout the morning. We've also talked a lot about uh, Wayne Lucas after yesterday's win with Secret Oath and then obviously today's scratch at Theorial Road. He's been out here all morning long as well. He's 4 15. Behind us. 4 15. He, 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 he's been working the entire time. Yeah. But you've got some news here on Secret Oath. Yeah, at Secret Oath. So the Churchill Downs uh, notes team, he tells them this morning that probably, possibly, we'll say possibly, that she would run in the Preakness. So the second leg of the Triple Crown against the boys. Remember, she ran against the boys in the Arkansas Derby, made a great move on the backstretch, and came up and looked like she was going to go past them. And then she just, she just kind of flattened out then. So um, as uh, Wayne, yeah, he's, he's right there. He's right behind us and, uh, and working. As, uh, I think as he has been all morning. There's a video of him there. But, yeah, and, and the other thing that they say is that Ethereal Road, that outside post position kind of hampered his, you know, ability to think that he could win this race. He was in that 20 position, so they decided, you know what, we're not going to take a chance. This horse, we're going to wait. He could also go back in the Preakness. So you could have D. Wayne Lucas with two horses in the Preakness. It really says a lot about him to have the roller coaster we just explained, from a scratch in the Derby, a win in the Oaks, to uh, already talking about the Preakness, and he's out here. To first. be back out here. Beat us yeah, out here exactly. this morning to the track. So uh, uh, that shows why a lot of people like him in general. And right. betting on his horse. Well, and again, at, at 86 years old, he's seen and done everything in this sport. Like, he is this sport. He is the face. As while it's faded a little bit over the years, he still has been the face of this sport for a long, long time. And, and will remain that. And we saw that yesterday. All right. Well, we will go back to you, Olivia, in the studio as we're having a light mist to start to uh, come down here. So something for the folks to keep in mind as they are hopefully getting ready with us here this morning on Wave News before they head out here for a, a fun day here at the track. Hopefully everyone has a hat big enough to protect their hair. Brian, you need a hat out there, right? <laughs> I, I, don't you worry. I got one. I'll make an appearance at some point. <laughs> all right. Well, you all go to find a dry place out there. Thank you so much. <laughs> the Kentucky Derby brings all kinds of walks of life to Louisville, and sometimes some unlikely friendships are made here. Adam Weitzman was walking down the street looking for a place to get a haircut and a shave. The New York entrepreneur stumbled upon the Vintage Barber Lounge on Bardstown Road. When Weitzman sat in his chair, Barber David Melvin had no idea who he was. He was surprised to find out that a billionaire with more than 15 million followers on Instagram was sitting in his chair. The barbers at the shop aren't strangers to having famous people there, but for Melvin, there was a deeper connection this time. He seemed so normal, but it did blow my mind as far as, wow, a billionaire. Because you would think a billionaire would be such above 
but it, it wasn't like that at all. You know, we just had a great connection there, and I loved, you know, the history of the barbershop and, and the stories they were telling. And uh, so it was. It, it ended up to be, you know, just more than getting a haircut and shave. I love seeing how people can come together. Whitesmoot was in town the year the two met because he had a horse racing in the Derby, but unfortunately the two friends weren't able to meet up for this year's Derby because of a conflict of schedules, but they plan to get together soon. Well, there's another look at downtown Louisville right now. There's Lynn Family Stadium where Janet Jackson will be performing later tonight. A lot to look forward to. We have more Wave News Sunrise when we return. This is a town called Basic, where the townspeople are happy with a basic lifestyle. And that's a 2022 Nissan Altima, with more attitude, more style.